Okay, I know I said the first one was purely just a test. And that, you know, I don't know if I'll make any more in the foreseeable future, but I couldn't resist doing this. Um, next to treetops, this is my uh, another one of my favorites. And even more so now because of the amazing job Toys for Bob did. So yeah, one more video and I'll stop. And like I said, I won't be surprised if these two videos get copyright claims. <laughs> even though my channel is in good standing. But um, as long as I'm doing this, I may as well mention something similar that happened to me. Uh, when I was starting out, I actually did a, I don't remember the name of it, but I did a Let's Play on a, a, a Namco arcade game. Uh, it was pretty much a space shooter. I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't Galaga, but um, whatever it was called. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I actually did, um have a problem with that. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now you're thinking. So yeah, I, I did get a copyright strike for that. Oh, here's something different about this. Uh, you can actually charge the cupids now. I don't think you could do that in the original. I don't remember. I haven't played the original in forever. And so, uh, yeah, uh, tell me if uh, they did change that. <laughs> but yeah, I got a copyright strike for that arcade game. And I'm actually not sure why. I actually had another copyright strike when I did the Lion King uh, Let's Play for the Sega Genesis. Because it had, um, Can You Feel the Love Tonight playing during the credits. <laughs> but later, I got a copyright strike for doing an arcade game. And I never got why. Thank you for releasing me. I love the new designs for the dragons uh, in um, Dreamweavers, by the way. But I love uh, pretty much most of the designs. I, I'm, there are some designs I actually don't really care for, but the Dreamweavers ones in particular I love because there's a lot of blues and purples, and those are two of my favorite colors. Plus, there's... There's more emphasis on like stars and constellations. They, the uh, the dragons look more. They look more like their dream things, like which is what they did with all the dragons. They look more like they're geared toward what the uh, the worlds are, and I love that Twitch Robot did that. It's a nice creative touch, but I don't think you could charge the cupids. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think you could, and it seems like they were bigger in the original. It's also a little easy to charge past things in this, or maybe it's just me, but it seems like I miss a lot of stuff. So I don't think I ever had that problem in the original. But yeah, YouTube... Uh, see, I started my channel, I believe, the summer of 2012. And... I actually didn't have it very long before they joined with Google Plus, and like many YouTubers, uh, like many YouTubers, <laughs> I was actually really mad <laughs> when they did that. I did not like that move. It didn't seem like a very smart move, and I'm not sure if many people actually did like it. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry, the only one that's gonna be tracked is him. So, yeah, until YouTube gets better, and I can't, oh, crap. I can't see them actually getting better. Uh, I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll do a video or two every now and then, I don't know. Uh, the one thing I wish Torch for Bob had put in is um, the invincibility frames. I don't think those exist in this game. And something really weird happened after I stopped recording. I actually ran into one of the boars in Beastmakers. Because if you were paying attention to my, uh, to, to the account of, um, 
If you're paying attention to how many dragons I freed, you probably can't even see it because of the angle my camera's at, but I had like 46 dragons. So I had to go back through Beastmakers and free some more dragons before I did this. But, um, I, I was going through Beastmakers, I ran into one of the boars, and it killed itself. Like, no joke. <laughs> the thing, uh, ran into the, I think it was the equivalent of it touching the swamp. And that killed it somehow. The hitboxes are... They just seem a bit... Thicker, I guess. Um, not sure why. <laughs> Ugh! I actually, uh, I kind of like that you can charge the, um, the cupids now. Because I really don't remember you being able to do that in the original. Oh, and I love this. Uh, yeah, I did get hit just now, but <laughs> Sparks matches me now. <laughs> We're both blue. <laughs> So yeah, I love this stage. I love the remix for this stage. I love all the remixes, really. Though I do often switch with, um, between soundtracks. That's something I really, really like to do. And you know what? I may as well show you something. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Lord. I'm gonna show you an example of what I mean when I say the hitboxes are really uh, the hitboxes are a bit bigger. I know people probably already know what I mean. If you've played this as many times as I have, you probably already know what I mean. But um, I'm gonna show you <laughs> maybe one of the best examples. I also like that you can play with Spyro during the uh, the loading screens. So let's go to Dr. Shemp. And I'll end off this video with something that actually made me laugh. And I'm sure it's, a lot of people might have uh, had this happen to them already, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Also, it seems like a lot of enemies are are a little quicker on the draw than the old ones. Uh, particularly the dogs in Dr. Shemp. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. Like, you don't even have to charge there. You don't have to charge down there. Go with the, water, uh, the uh, whirlwind. And then glide from that platform all the way to here. You can just have the lady smack you up here. So, yeah. Thanks, lady. <laughs> so, yeah. That's just my update. Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll do another video later on, but I'm not entirely sure. Especially if YouTube um, is stupid and gives me copyright strikes for this. I'm pretty sure they will. A lot of YouTubers that I like have had that problem. And I feel like if I continue, it'd probably do the same thing to me. So when I upload this, I guess we'll see what happens.